the Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening. It was a musical combination which started a new trend of soft rock in the 70s and bridged a generation gap. The Carpenters, a brother and sister singing team, tonight part of the team is gone. 32-year-old Karen Carpenter died this morning in Downey of cardiac arrest. No. Their clean-cut look and smooth harmonies help make them a singing success. Songs such as Close to You, Top of the World, We've Only Just Begun, shot up the pop charts, and won them what the music industry calls a middle-of-the-road audience. It was a loyal following, proved in part by their three Grammys and eight gold albums. Yes. Karen Carpenter was found on the floor of a closet at the family home in Downey. She died apparently because her heart gave out. Her health had been plaguing her for some time. Dave Lopez is here with more on some of the circumstances leading to her death. David? Just thank you. It was no secret among her Hollywood friends that Karen Carpenter suffered from anorexia nervosa, the term used when somebody simply stops eating and has no desire to eat at all. Within the hour, a coroner's autopsy has been completed, but no cause of death has been determined from that autopsy. In fact, lab tests and other studies will be needed, and that, says the coroner, could take weeks. Ms. Carpenter died just before 10 o'clock this morning from cardiac arrest. In layman terms, it means her heart stopped beating at 32 years of age. We were directed by her father to an upstairs bedroom. Uh, at the one end of the bedroom was a very large walk-in closet. Uh, inside of the closet area was Mrs. Carpenter and her mother at her side. We, her mother was quite emotionally upset. She was removed from the area. We checked her, and we, we found a, a very faint, detectable pulse. Captain Paul Cook, the first paramedic to reach Miss Carpenter. It stopped or was not detectable at that time. We removed her from the closet area in the bedroom area for more access. The paramedics then put the paddles on her and checked for a cardiac rhythm. And she was in a cardiac arrest at that time. And when I say cardiac arrest, I don't mean she had a heart attack. Her heart had stopped beating. Could you tell that... She was extremely thin, or was there anything that... that she was a, uh, a thin girl, a thin-built girl, uh, but I wouldn't say excessively thin. According to the family attorney, Miss Carpenter spent last night at her parents' home in Downey. She got up this morning and made coffee, then went upstairs to get dressed. When her parents didn't hear any noises from her, they ran up and found her lying face down on the floor of her bedroom. Shortly after 9, she was rushed to Downey Community Hospital. Emergency personnel administered to her uh, where she expired and was pronounced dead at 9.51 this morning. Never regained consciousness? Uh, no. She and uh, Richard were uh, talking about uh, all kinds of projects that they wanted to do together. And uh, uh, they were in the midst of a record album. As a matter of fact, they were recording an album. Been separating from her husband more than a year ago, Miss Carpenter spent much time at her parents' home in Downey, a home she and her brother Richard had built as a special gift to their parents. She attended Downey High School, graduated in 1967, and it was in Downey High School where she developed her love for playing the drums. Her band teacher, Bruce Gifford, remembers well. Karen, and his sister come up a year or two later and wanted to be in a band, and she knew something about piano playing enough so that she could play bells. And when... Uh, she got in a band, and the second year she was in band, she was a junior, she got fa infatuated with the drums and wanted to be a drummer. And so she became a drummer and immediately didn't just start beating on them. She went to Drum City and took lessons. And <laughs> by the time she graduated, she was as fine a drummer as I've ever had to come out of here. As successful as, as she became, she, she never forgot, I guess, where she was from. No, she didn't. I was just speaking with uh, uh lady on the telephone whose children are in the way out of Broadway tonight and uh, she lived near the Carpenters before they moved to where they are located now and said that when Richard and Karen first started out and were making their records that Karen would pass out some of their records to the kids in the community and they just loved it. That show way out of Broadway is a special talent show that the city of Downey puts on and ironically tonight the finals. It was in 1966 when Karen and Richard Carpenter entered that event and won it. From there, their career blossomed, having sold more than 60 million albums. Thank you, David.